Hello everybody and welcome to Cracking Time, the movie zone. Flight of the Navigator is the movie that we're watching tonight. And as I predicted, we have one person watching this stream. There was literally 45 in the last one, but uh, obviously, do you know what? I don't think people like these movie streams, uh, to be quite honest with you. Um, so we might have to think of doing something else because they don't they're not working um but we'll do this one anyway i love this movie um but yeah i'll have to reconsider because like you know i mean we have 45 people watching the last stream we've got one person watching now um so obviously they don't like the movie streams and they've made it loud and clear even though it was people's suggestions that i do movie streams but Either it's either the day or or whatever. I don't know what it is, but um, I guarantee if we were doing a, a watch along of Doctor Who, we'd have a a, a bigger audience. Um, but uh, let's bring on our guest for this movie, and hopefully we PlayStation because you know it's not working now. All right, I'm gonna bring on Cheryl. No, I mean, real super doc. <laughs> How are you? Uh, there's more people uh, uh, coming in. Uh, there are more viewers. Well, we might be able to watch it because, like... Because you get five watching now. <laughs> right, well, everybody get that movie ready anyway. I might be able to watch this movie now because me... me the USB port was taken out my PlayStation. <sighs> oh dear, something's happened here. Come on. This hasn't happened in a long, long time. You're getting problems in your your end. Yeah. Uh, the the video just disappeared a second ago. So what to video? refresh it. What video? Uh well, the video that I'm watching now. The at that that site. Oh, that can happen. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, will everybody get their copy ready, whoever is watching it? Um, because there's nothing I can do right now. Unbelievable. Can you not watch it from that site? Uh, I'm watching, yeah, on my PlayStation. I need my PlayStation to work right. right now. Try and reboot it. I've already done that. It's not to do with my PlayStation. It's got to do with the cable that's going into it. Right. I don't like the cable to be touched, but it was touched. So. I picked up on that. This is unbelievable, this is man, seriously. Like it keeps saying there's no signal. 
Yeah. Well, maybe you've got a kind of faulty cable or something like that. No, both cables do this. I don't, it's the TV, I think, that we have. Right. But it never takes this long. It normally, you know. Jesus Christ, man. Well, you might as well start the movie anyway. Um, so if you want to do a counter, if everybody in the chat is ready, just press one. There's nothing I can do. I've watched the movie, uh, like uh, Unknown said anyway. Oh, uh, I think it was Extra Spice Mikey or something. I think they said, uh, I've seen this so many times, I know what happens anyway. So yeah, uh, whenever you're ready, just do the countdown. Um, There's a couple of ones in the chat. You can go ahead. Right. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So this takes you into the, the Disney logo. I can remember seeing this film uh, years ago. I never saw it in the cinema. I, I remember getting it in a uh, video, and it was just a rented video when I watched it down at my grand's. Yeah, same here. We got in, a nice video. And uh, my first impression of this film was, uh, what was this all about? I mean, I was, uh, it was like another movie, like uh, in the 80s, you were kind of hooked by. Uh, it was the the spaceship and uh, the experience of the, the the young boy in that and having the experiences in that and flying that spaceship, and I quite liked the the creatures, the aliens, the wee alien creatures and all that in it. And I think I wanted one of the, a toy or one of them, and I, know, I couldn't get it. Max. Yeah. It's kind of not an, an odd opening in this because you've got it's like dogs in a park and they're, they're chasing a the frisbee. Yeah, but I think it was to kind of show to set up the relationship between yeah uh, and his dog because yeah you know his younger brother hated the dog used to cut slag the dog off yeah so that that's why they're doing that but yeah the opening is very uh, unusual. Right, we're getting somewhere. So in a few minutes, I'll ask you for a timestamp. Just not yet. Right. The eighties were the the hits, the hit movies back then. I mean, this was it was quite popular, but. Um, yeah, you know they never made a, a sequel after it. No, because the guy that played David, the young he ended yeah. up having problems and stuff, and yeah, and stuff like that. There's actually a picture up of him uh, as an adult. Uh, yeah, his life has not gone so well. Uh, uh, after this movie, apparently he was he got a bit wild and stuff like that, and yeah, he doesn't come across like that in the movie, obviously. But apparently, you know, he was a bit of a wild character and. You know, uh, his life didn't, after this movie, his life didn't turn out. Because this would have been his biggest hit, you know? Yeah. Um, it was a very popular movie. I even remember when it came out on VHS how popular this movie was. There was posters plas plastered all over the place. Uh, 
even it was even that big that you know the the, the soundtrack from the, the the Beach Boys and all featured on the on the soundtrack. It was like it was a big deal. It was yeah so, yeah. I think y'all fame either fame got to him or it's the same with all child actors. You know they're not treated very fucking well and and they end up being given drugs and all of this to yeah yeah you know with what's our face julie garland like she talks yeah. about being given fucking uppers and all back in yeah. the day so that kind of behavior even in the 80s was still kind of tolerated so you know yeah it is quite uh it is quite sad it's what happened to Corey feldman i mean yeah. When when he came came out with his story and uh, uh, kind of bit exposed what was going on in Hollywood, I mean, yeah, nobody would believe him though. Nobody yeah. would believe him though. Exactly. So look at Brendan Fraser. He's recently told his story and why he was blacklisted. Yeah. He was, he was yeah sexually assaulted. Uh, I won't say the actual word, the R word, because it yeah. Was, uh, give us a time stamp there now, buddy. Um, I'm at four forty-seven. Four minutes. Four minutes and forty-seven. All right, hold on. Uh, it's going that fast. Well, four minutes and fifty-seven now. Right. When you get to when you get to five twenty eight, then let me know. Yeah. So they're all in the car. Five eighteen. Yeah. Five eighteen now. Okay, there you go. Right, we're caught up. Right, so I only missed the first minute because the rest is the titles. But that was the whole point. That's why they showed the dog. Because look at the way Dave is with the dog. Yeah. yeah. And there's the girl that he fancies. Yeah. And see the the girl that he fancies is actually uh, Jessica Parker, all grown no, up. That young I girl think like Jessica yeah. Parker is the one that works in the 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 the, the yeah. place where they take him after. Yeah, he goes into the future. What's yeah. the time stamp? Uh, with uh, how long? Six, six, six minutes. minutes and I'm on seven. six minutes and ten seconds, Chris. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, he was just checking out some girl because he's a peeping Tom. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't, that's what teenagers did. Girl, they fancy. Is <laughs> <laughs> he the normal way uh, teenager growing up? That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like, <laughs> His dad is right though. Yeah. So basically we're in a typical normal American setting in the yeah. year nineteen seventy eight. And David wants his dog to become a frisbee champion. Yeah. But there's a dog catching frisbee camp, but he's a bit of a, a bit like yeah. Ted. You know, throw a frisbee at him, he let it hit his head sort of deal. I'm getting E.T. vibes from this film. I mean, it's like, this is like Elliot and uh, going into the, the the forest and, you know, and finding, the, coming in contact with the, the, sp the spaceship. I do love this movie. I love the music as well. I just... Look, I know it's not the greatest movie in yeah. the world, and it isn't. It, it isn't. The plot it's got its simple. flaws. The, the 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 plot is simple, but what makes it good is 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 all the people that they have actually in the movie, the actors and the the actresses, and obviously yeah. when we get to we get introduced to Max, which is dead. But yeah. this is like this is how you'd feel as a kid. 
Yeah. You know, walking through a forest at that hour of the night. Yeah. I love this because his little brother is about to scare the shit out of him that starts all of this off. Yeah. Roy, if anybody has sent me messages, I'm sorry, my phone's a bit slow. So if you have, just bear with me if you've, if you've actually asked to come on. Uh, I'll sort it out now in a second if there is anybody. As I said, my phone is very slow. Everything's very slow today. And it's when you're a kid and, and you, you know you've got that kind of fear that, you know, if if something like that happens and if everything's all different and all that and, you know, it's, it, 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 it's to be presented by a kind of situation like that, like, like uh, this is, even though this is fiction, you know, it's the, the boy that gets lost in the forest and somehow goes uh, transported uh, into the future and sees his parents all different and all that and you know it must be kind of heartbreaking hmm. <laughs> but this is why they did the thing with the dog you see because he's dog yeah. now in distress yeah I got what they were, even as a kid, man, I knew what they were doing with this movie. I knew what they were yeah. trying to do with this movie. And I always wanted to be that kid. Yeah. I mean, it's the same like the Goonies and all that. It's going and having an adventure. Exactly. You know, it's start, starting that childhood imagination, like, like what if we discover a, a ship full of gold or something like that, or a spaceship or something like That's that. It. That's it, mate. Yeah. You know, as kids, it, it, it did spark the imagination. I always wanted to, to be him and to do those things that he did. Bruiser! Again. I love this part. <laughs> Can I help you? Do, 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 do. No, no, you don't. Even the music, though, makes it like yeah. it's like it's kind of like Twilight Zone kind of shit going on right now. Yeah, and it, and he's completely confused. He's running about his house and seeing all the changes and all that. And you would be though, wouldn't you, man? Yeah. If you woke up after falling, and then you you realize that. Just people in your gaff. Yeah. In fairness, these were a nice old couple. Like, yeah. You knew he was stressed. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, I did. I watched The Explorers, Chris, the other night. I forgot how good that movie was as well. That was uh, another good movie, that The Explorers. Um, uh, do you know what? I, I, I'll give it to you, uh, I suppose, because Max and, and, and David kind of stay on this planet. Yeah. Um, whereas The Explorers leave the planet, build yeah. their own little spaceship, and yeah. Another good movie, though. Yeah, I only watched it there, uh, I think it was last week, because I was, I've been, as I said, I've been kind of watching all the stuff that I grew up with. And I watched The Explorers. 
And the aliens are crazy in it. Singing and stuff. And See, this is when they realise that this is exactly the same boy that um, went missing in 1978. And they're very puzzled by it. But imagine they're, they're taking that kid to, to to what they presume is his parents. <laughs> okay. Who's the president? <laughs> like I have to say his parents moved from the house that they had to this one like yeah. I never understood that did they did they go kind of nearly bankrupt trying to look for their son and that's why they ended up in a place like this yeah this well it seemed a lot nicer looking fun. They could have done, and uh, it was. You don't know how many, how many years and how much money they spent on looking for their son. You, they're, they've been, they've been. It's been a long time. And sees his dad older. And his mum's older too. Yeah, but they look like they've been through the ringer. Yeah. It's like there's another what if to this. I mean, if, if you were a kid and you came across a spaceship like that, and and it, it had all those controls and 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 everything like that, you would want to get inside it, and and if it could take you anywhere, you would want to go inside it. You would want to you want to be a part of it. You would, though. That's the thing, because kids are inquisitive. So we would. We wouldn't even think of the consequences of doing something like that. Like, what, we were taken over by an alien entity. You know that sort of way? Yeah. But kids wouldn't run away from it, but adults would run away from it. Look at that. The visual effects are quite good for this uh, film all those they years. They are. Ago. They hold up well. They hold up well. Was this the first film that had uh, CGI in it? Because uh, the spaceship does look like kind of uh, uh, metal CGI. I don't know if it was a model. It could have been a model right enough. Could have been, yeah. Well, I reckon it was CGI. It looked CGI. Yeah. An actress that's playing his mother is uh, in um, the film uh, The Witches of Eastwick. Oh, this is where he realises his little brother is now his big brother. Yeah.
But yet the authorities are still trying to work it out. Why? Yeah. It looks like he's wearing his shirt inside out. <laughs> I suppose they had to kind of make up the fashions to kind of... There you go. So they did. They spent all their money trying to find them. Yeah. Yeah. And it's in the heart of the eighties, like the middle of the eighties. What a time to be a lawyer. Yeah. Seriously, man, is that these kids don't realize what they miss, what they missed in the eighties? Uh, a lot of people, our generation, always say, "I wish we could go back to the eighties." Well, there's a reason for that because society was a lot better. Yes, it had its problems. Yes, there were yep. wars going on, but people did feel safe. A child, as a child, your parents did everything in their power to shield you away from what was going on in the world and we had stuff like this our entertainment also was escapism and that's what yeah. we are all about now it's completely the opposite the world is shitty but yet they want us to know in their tv programs just how shitty we are and the world is whereas before it was about the world is shitty but let's try and and, and get you make the best of it an hour and a yeah. half a bit of escapism and here's a movie for you or a tv show you can enjoy yeah this is why but this is one of my favorite childhood movies yeah I, I watched it a few months back and and i for, i still have the same feelings that i has as a kid i want to be with max on that ship yeah and that's what it's about that's how you know a movie it has a lasting impression on you and stuff and and has the impact that it's supposed to have this is what escapism is See, escapism was kind of the 60s, 70s, and 80s films. And yeah. A wee bit the 90s, but it started to kind of die off, you know. The the, the escapism, the, the kind of adventure, the, the the going places and all that, and to other worlds and all that, that's kind of, that kind of died off. But I'm lucky to be, I'm lucky to have grown up in the 80s because they take experience all this. I don't know if the actual prop is just like a kind of helium balloon. It could have been. It been... could have been for that. Yeah, for those scenes. Yeah. It could have well easily been a helium balloon. A very big ass helium balloon at that. But yeah, you yeah. there, man. Because you can see, you can see, it's not kind of attached to anything, and it's not kind of supported by anything, and like, and it's like the they've got the tarpaulin on it to kind of hold it in place and hold it down. I will go surfing, a surfing USA. So, so basically, this is an you know, alternative future because a spaceship can alter time. You know, well, uh, the spaceship. We find out that the spaceship tried to send him back to his own time. Yeah, but it failed. It didn't work. So he, it, uh, because he crashed also, because that's how the ship was found. Yeah, uh, was found, but. You know, he tells him the reason why, which we find out later on in the movie, is because he's afraid that he'll he'll kill the kid. That's why yeah. he left him this time. But yeah. David is like, 
well, no, look, you brought me here. You take me home. Mm -hmm. But the end of this movie is my favorite. When he goes and he finds his little brother and he tells his brother that he loves him and his brother's face because he's expecting them to give out to him. Yeah. Then they're on the boat and then you see the little alien that he has. Like, yeah. He tells his brother, shh, it's there. I love that. Seriously. But you see, this is the way we all pictured America. Yeah. You know, family, you know, coming together and, and stuff like that. Now yeah. they tell us that families are bad, blokes are bad, and all this. Yeah. Sort of yeah this is what it was all about and i'll never and i'll never apologize for these movies i will never apologize with so oh, they're in politically correct fuck you and your in polit political correctness and all this crap right just enjoy the movie if you're offended by a movie don't watch it leave it to the rest of us to enjoy Oh, I love this though. Yeah, when he's getting his brain assessed, yeah, assessed yeah. And, and when it when it really goes, uh, it, it, it's like the 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 alien intelligence kind of emerges from the the connection between the him and the the spaceship. Oh yeah, this is where Max takes over his brain. Yeah. Wow. I mean, this was the technology at the time, the kind of computer systems that they had at the time. I mean, it's they didn't have any kind of more advanced stuff that they had now, laptops and that. And, and for its time, this film works quite well with us. I mean, even the computer graphics are okay. Yeah, the, uh, it doesn't take away from the movie. Yeah. You know what? Seriously, man, I would love to sit all of these little SJWs down and all these other idiots that are offended by everything and just yeah. put the looks of these movies on, right? And lock mm -hmm. them in the room and make them watch them, right? Yeah. Until they come out better people. Because this is what these movies do as well, yeah. right? It's not, it wasn't just about entertaining. We did learn stuff as well. Did make us believe better in humanity as well. There was always a positive message. It was like the same as Inner Space as well, if you've seen the film Inner Space. I mean, it had positive messages as well in that. Dennis Quaid. Yeah. Inner Space. Love that movie. Yeah. Do, do, do. We should do that some week. I love that film, the fact that, you know, that he, that he was on the run and he got injected, you know, and yeah. the, 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 the wee spaceship was in through the body and all that. Yeah. That he could communicate as well through it. Yeah, but my, Martin Short makes that movie, though. Uh, yeah. The two of them work well, Dennis Quaid and him. Like, at first I believed this NASA guy, right? And then I was like... When I started seeing the stuff that was happening, I said, nah, see, that's NASA for you, man. You yeah. know? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust NASA as far as I told them, to be quite honest with you. See, the, what they were after is they saw an opportunity for a higher intelligence. That's exactly. what they saw in him because he had this connection between something that they couldn't understand and hope to understand is because there was a higher power involved and that's why they were tricking him you know like basically using him as a kind of research and an experiment into it
Did anybody actually believe that Jungle Cruise was going to reach people's expectations, though, Chris, to be quite honest with you? When I heard they were actually making a movie about a Disney ride, I was kind of like, well, Disney are kind of scraping the barrel now. Um, but look at all that merch. Yeah, look I know. Look at, I know. Look at how much that's actually worth now. Look at that shuttle. Yeah. Up shuttle. Even that would be worth a few quid now. Yeah, and the Transformers as well, because I think I had a couple of Transformers when I was a kid. Yeah, same here, but I was never really a fan of Transformers, to be quite honest with you. I, I wasn't really a fan of them. Uh, I, th I think I got one of them, and uh, I just get kind of bored with it straight away. See, I, what I liked about uh, the, yeah. the toys that I had, they were characters, they were creations, and that's why they kind of appealed to me. Because uh, it was like the gremlins appear appealed to me. Uh, I didn't like Action Man at all. I mean, I would just rip them to pieces because I I, I just my gran would take me in uh, the the town and and buy me an Action Man and figure and I would, it, it would just be in pieces and all that. And she said, "Oh, that's pointless buying you that when you're in pieces and no happy with." It. And uh, it was the same with He Man. I never liked He Man either because He Man uh, was one Christmas I got He Man, and uh, it, it was because of the cartoon and that. And yeah, I same the here. I like He Man, but I, I was actually a fan of He Man. But um, yeah, you know, but I get where you're coming from because I didn't like Action Man. I didn't like GI Joe either. I didn't um, like the He Man figures. Uh, it was it, it was it was one one Christmas. I got them for Christmas, and uh, I remember my friends coming round, and and I says, "Oh, I'll get He Man and all that." And they had He Man figures and all that, and uh, we lifted the the toys up, and I said, and we're looking at them, and I says, "I said, I said, I said to Ian, I says, uh, 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 do you think they're boring or something like that?" Because I think they're born and they're, they're both, and in, in Ian and Richard, they, they nodded to me. They kind of agreed with me. Yeah. But uh, when the, the slime pit came out and uh, I got the slime pit figures and all that, we, we enjoyed playing with the slime pit figures and all that and, and gooing them and all that. And it, it was quite interesting, but it was not until likes of uh, the real Ghostbusters came along and... And and that's when uh, we could all agree in the these were these were the the definitive toys. Yeah, I love when the top of the pants. Yeah, <laughs> but Sarah Jessica Parker there when she, when when she actually looked. Yeah. In fairness, though, I was expecting her to kind of kick on in a movie career as well, but she never did. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Do you want new Coke, classic Coke? Blah, blah, blah. So... <laughs> I do like Ralph. Yeah, uh, this is this is where he escapes in it as well. Yeah, he doesn't escape. Yeah, but he, yeah, but no, 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 no. I do like that though. <laughs> and of course, look at the big brother now. He felt so guilty the way he treated David that he is now teaching. Yeah, the dog. This takes place in 1986. It's, I think the real Ghostbusters toys were out by then. So uh, it's, it's a bit kind of weird why they're not mentioned in this film. Ah. Oh. I do feel sorry for, for his family at the end of this, the older family, but then I, I start, yeah. thinking, well, once he goes back to his own time, none of those events would have happened. 
Yeah, so and it gets it's rewritten. Bad. It's rewritten, yeah. So, but you do feel sorry for them because, like, their son's being taken off them for a second time. Yeah. But, like, come on. You start monitoring these phone calls, like, yeah. right in front of them. Oh, here we go again. So he's he's brain. Oh, well, Max is using his brain now to fuck with the computers. Yeah. I'd imagine you could do that. <laughs> yeah. In fairness, it looks like Max was was helpful, right? Yeah. I mean, he wasn't. You are David. Impossible. He does explain it well to David here, though. Yeah. I love when it starts going through the star charts. Yeah. In fairness, you would be freaky if it was. Yeah. I remember there was a TV show about a, a group of kids uh, finding a spaceship, and uh, it was it was kind of the basically the same thing, and it was a BBC TV pro program called Aquila. Uh, I think it was in the nineties, late nineties, and. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's, uh, if, uh, if it's uh, online. So, uh, I could remember watching it in the nineties. That's it. <clears throat> wow, you're an army kid. 
Stop bitching. Yeah. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> no, so Max is calling to him. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I was just telling people his his life hasn't. Unfortunately, the guy that plays David, his life hasn't actually gone to plan. Um, it's actually sad. Yeah, it's actually sad. You know, Hollywood can can feck up a lot of people, though. That's the thing. You know? I love the music in this. <laughs> it's proper 80s, isn't it? Yeah, the, the music is techno. <laughs> do so this is basically being controlled by his mind and what the robot the robot no the robot car is automatic yeah but the the spaceship yeah he needs his mind yeah his, his brain is the pilot I like the light in the top of it. <laughs> And that's when the music starts to change into something. Yeah, sinister. it becomes more chilling. Mm. Compliance. The first thing I do if I met an alien is say, Welcome to Earth. Now do yourself a favor, get out of here. <laughs> I'll say, You do not want to come down here because you'll be made to uh, choose your gender. You'll be made yeah. to identify as something. 
just get out of here. We're a bunch of crack pot pots here. You're better off going back to your own planet. Trust me. It, it's not that. It's what the 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 harm that uh, these idiotic scientists could actually do to uh, uh, an advanced extraterrestrial being. That's another thing as well, because if you think about, I know they show it in movies, and it's just movies, but yeah, humans seem to have a habit of shooting first and and asking questions later. Yeah, you know, they thought aliens were hostile, even though they weren't hostile. They'd probably attack them, and then we'd end up being annihilated because of them. You know. Uh, yeah, I will agree there. I think yeah, I think we jumped the gun. I think that's why there's been such a denial, so so much denial about alien life. But even now, uh, the Pentagon is coming out with stuff and saying, "Oh, that's very hard to explain." Yeah. Well, it's mainly because they want to keep secrets, and and they're not they're not being completely straight with us in that in that matter. They, they, they probably want to keep it a secret. See, I think they have found the extraterrestrials and uh, they found their spaceships and everything like that and they just don't want to divulge it to the average individual in case they get ideas. Or unless, unless the majority of science fiction is actually science fact, in a way. I mean, it, it may be sound crazy, but you know, you know how they've been priming us for these things for years. And it's like every movie that the alien, the aliens except ET are, are, are the only ones that's friendly. I mean, you look at Independence Day. For an example, the yeah. the aliens the aliens just want to come here to annihilate the planet because they move from planet to planet. But surely, uh, an extraterrestrial race is just about evolution to evolve. Yeah. Kind of like the Doctor Who titles. The Navigator. Yeah. My favorite line. You are the Navigator. I'm waiting to find out the kid. <laughs> Navigator. <laughs> I do love Max and <laughs> They're not aliens. They're just being human beings. And they're idiots. I want to be the navigator. Give me this ship so I can destroy human civilization.
Look at the chrome effect of everything in that spaceship. I mean, it's yeah. I mean, I mean, it's all plastic inside. But uh, for <laughs> say, for an example, there is the door was closed, and that looked a bit like uh, CGI. No, I think it was CGI because when the spaceship even changes shape, it's definitely CGI. It's yeah. like the early stages yeah. of CGI, but they did it so well that it hasn't aged. Yeah. Badly. But I have people on Twitter saying to me that I'm opening up old wounds, bringing all the stuff up that happened to me. Uh, I'm not. There's an active police investigation, and I'm just telling people of my experiences online with these people. That's not opening up all wounds because these kids are running now, and they should run, and they should be scared. Uh, yeah. because they've said a lot of vile stuff. So, no, I'm not going to apologize or, or back down here. If people don't like what I have to say, well, then I, I would advise you not to follow me on Twitter because I'm going to be continuing this over the next few few days and weeks. We're not letting this go. As soon as one of these feckers are taken down, uh, I will let be letting people know. There's a lot of people out there that are looking for justice, right? And now that there's an active police investigation actually happening, I'm not backing down. So, no, I'm not opening up old wounds. I'm just reminding people what has happened to me that's happening to those kids now, right? That's happened to me for over two years with these people, but I was never believed. So I'm not yeah. opening up all wounds. I'm reminding people. So I'll leave it at that. But listen, don't be, uh, I'm sick of people coming on to you. I don't be doing this, that, and you know, I'll do whatever I want anyway. Nobody tells me what to do. And I think everybody on this channel knows that. Uh, uh, boy now nobody tells me what to do i'll do whatever i want when i want and how i want and that's the way it'll always be and now here's me fa now you start to make me miss me favorite fucking part now spaceship gone up in the air there we go he said well you did say you're 250 miles up or 50 miles up or something oh <laughs> I love Max. Oh, I wanted one of those spaceships and I wanted a little Max. Yeah. You know, I wanted the, the little Max to come out of the spaceship and talk. Yeah. Compliance. Oh, it's free falling. <laughs> and this is where it changes shape now in a second. Seriously, I love this movie. Yeah. I really do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh oh, you shouldn't have asked them. You shouldn't have asked them. Yeah. Here we go. You can definitely tell the CGI. Watch, John. Yeah. See, look, you can definitely tell that CGI. But I love the way it changes the, this shape. I love this shape. Love yeah, that. that's CGI. Oh, go on. And there's the music. That's the most definitely CGI, that. See, that's in its early stages yeah. of CGI. I love this when he's explained to him and he keeps shifting on the chair. Can you do something? Chair, can you fix the seat? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> We all wanted to be David. I still want to be that kid. I love this, the cow. Oh, when he comes out and goes new to the cows, this is fucking... <laughs> to take he a needs leap. a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Bathroom. I need to go for a leak.
Moo. Oh, look, when, when, when you put Max comes to go, Moo. I'm taking a leak. <laughs> oh, I love it. By the way, do you notice that he just happens to be pissing on an orange tree? Yeah, I can see Did that. You just, I just noticed that now after all these years. He's literally pissing beside an There's an orange tree in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> well, in, in fairness, there are cows there, so there probably is a farm there, boy. But still, like, of all the spots to have a pig, don't eat those oranges. See, that's why. See, it was a such a yeah. simple plot, though. <laughs> there, he explains it here now. Oh. <laughs> 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 Seriously, man. Seriously, if this if this movie doesn't put a smile on your face or bring you some sort of joy or stir up some sort of emotion within you, then you're dead inside. You are. Yeah. I mean, I'm having so much fun watching this, and I'm a grown man now. And this was one of my favorite movies growing up as a kid. And now I don't understand why. Now I understand why. It's just everything that we want. I want movies to be today. Just escapism. Fuck his our agendas, man. Yeah. You want to do all that agenda-driven shit? Fine, do it. Do it. But do it away from us. Don't be forcing and taking their characters away and forcing it down their throats, right? If you want to let this fucking twatty fucking platform, set one up where you can put all of these pl uh, dull uh, crap that they want on those yeah. sites, right? Why infect the rest of us with all of that shit? Right? Yeah. Seriously, man, this is why we watched television back then, John. You know? Yeah, yeah. You see, it's the problem is that uh, these these perverts are in charge, and they want to inject all these agendas into television programs, so that it gets through to the minds of children. I don't think this is right. I mean, I just don't know. I, I despair at things these days. I mean, it should be all about adventure, enjoyment, and escapism, and you know, just just having fun and just uh, using the imagination. Listen, I'm not saying that shows that we watched or our movies that we watched back in the day didn't yeah. have some sort of political element to them, yeah, or some sort of social issue, or yeah. or or whatever. It did, right? It actually did. But the difference yeah. is, is that it was a smack in your face, right? Yeah. Even in this movie, there are, there are, you know what I mean? There are, uh, there are social issues going on in this movie. Yeah. Right? But it's not in your face, right? Yeah. You just let you enjoy the movie, enjoy the characters. Yeah. And this is where we come across his little friend now in a minute. But does one of the meets his hat here? <laughs> I love these wee monsters. All the ones. I know. I just wanted. I just wanted the whole fucking shelf with all of those aliens, man. I remember uh, saying to my grand when she was sitting in her chair and we were watching this film. I want that we that wee creature that he's got. Yeah. I say she looked at you horrified. No, no. No, she kind of agreed with me. It's not. It's not. Not any of the wee monsters or something like that. But it's just if I asked for it, I would have got it. Look at that one eating his hat. That's deadly. He <laughs> doesn't know it's like, ah, but my favourite little aliens coming up now. Even though the little yeah. girl inside him with their head popping up now, it's deadly. 
But here, oh, the eyeball. Here's the eyeball. They always have an eyeball. Yeah. I love the eyeballs. Right, but here's my favourite now. Here he is. Here he that, is. That's oh, the thing that I wanted because I it, want it, him. Look, look how cute he I is. Said, I said to my grand, I want that. Look how cute he is. Come on. And then he starts laughing when he gets tickled. Oh. I, I always know. thought that was like a kind of gizmo, a wee kind of, you know, with the yeah. ears and that. And I wanted that. Oh, man. This is why I love the end of this movie, because he manages to keep this little fella. Yeah. It's brilliant. He tells Bax is telling him, could you? yeah, he's telling him that his whole planet, he doesn't know. He wants to go home and he's angry, the little fella is, but he doesn't realise that his home world was destroyed, so... He basically saved the Max did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. E.T. This, this is why we love these things. We, and when we made toys of them, we went out and we bought them. We let our parents went out and got them for us. Yeah. Because it wasn't just it wasn't about the merchandise or about the company selling. Right. Well, it was for them, but at, but at the end of the day, they knew these things were going to sell because. You know, yeah. look at the franchises they were part of, very successful, but kids like us love them. Love I them. mean, I mean, look at the merchandise that they, they spawned with these films and that, and and you could get them in your local shop and all that, and uh, like the John Menzies or the Woolworths at the time, or, or Tesco's at the time, you could get these toys. And... I know. I mean, I mean, you took these toys to school, we you? They get into trouble with the teachers because the teachers didn't like you playing oh, with these right. toys. You didn't like, but then you see them secretly playing with your toys. Then you know, yeah. when you're looking, you come back in. They, there they are with your little toy. Yeah, I was. I, 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 had, I remember I had my bag in 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 the classroom and I was looking at looking at my toys and all that in the bag and playing with my toys. And then the teacher says, "All right, I'm taking them off you until." Till uh, the to the end of the week, and she 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 put them in the cupboard until the end of the week. Tell you, man. and you'd be devastated. You'd be devastated. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that that uh, the teacher took uh, an offence to Gizmo. She didn't like Gizmo at all. She was. I, 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 I don't I don't know what what her problem was, but uh, she didn't like me at all. She just. Took my gizmo off me and put it in the cupboard, locked it in the cupboard, and and I had I had to wait a kind of week to get it back. And it was the same way the the rest of the, the rest of the kids they had the garbage pail kids cards and yeah and it, they were driving the teachers crazy because you know they were they were sharing them out in the streets and all that the no the street the the the, the place the playground and all that. Yeah, I say the teachers had a field day when the tam what was those Tamagotchis? Remember them? Tamagotchis. When they See. came out, holy shit! Because kids literally had to bring them to school, like a Tamagotchi would die. Yeah, like, you had to feed it and play with it and all of this stuff. Aye. Oh, he scanned his brain, didn't he? Yeah. This is yeah. This is where he starts. So the eighties were really a kind of big time, you know, big time of the good stuff. Like yeah. we had to use our imaginations and all that, and we had, we had all these uh, stuff and all that. Like they they came out with some weird toys back in the eighties. Like I don't know if you could remember this, but the breath blasters. Now the uh, there were these kind of monster head monster kind of head things, and uh, you squeezed them, and uh, this smell came out of them. And uh, I remember that uh, they were toxic back then, and uh, because they were that smelly, they, they they get banned. I mean, they try they tried to remove them from the shelves and all that because they were that strong. So, eighties, eighty six had a lot of good merchandise, uh, tapes, uh, you know, you know, all the, all these tapes, and and it was like the marketplaces always sold these kind of rip off, yep. uh, uh, 
you know, the tapes and all that. Or the, no, the my parents loops. always felt bad, John, because yeah. we'd go out on a family day out and I'd see yeah. something connected to a movie that we watched yeah. that was very popular and all the kids would have it. Yeah. They literally break our backs, man. Yeah, yeah I know what that. Whatever. I, know. I have to say, you know, we, we grew up a time where money wasn't flowing, but our parents really did try their best, yeah. and especially Christmas. You know, they really yeah. made up for it if they, if they couldn't get you out throughout the year. Kids will today will never understand what it's kids, like to grow kids, up. Kids these days are not really happy. I mean, I mean, I remember at Christmas time and when uh, I get things that, you know, that they wouldn't appreciate. Oh, yeah, I, I got... fix him dead. So Max is angry at him, folks, right? Because yeah. he's at the scan of David's brain now, so he understands all the words, right? Yeah. But he, he was going to crash the spaceship because David wouldn't apologise for him. Yeah. And now David is flying the ship. Here we go. Yeah. But you're right, John. I mean, getting back to the point that you were making, it was just... Yeah. Look, I I will always be grateful for the childhood and the decades that we yeah. grew, grew up in. I will. And I'll defend it. To the, and remember, it's our past folks yeah. that's being attacked now. It's our movies. It's our franchises. You know, they're attacking everything that made us feel good as kids because they're miserable old bastards now. That's yeah. The Ridiculous, man. So we're really suffering because of them, because they they had a, a crappy childhood. Exactly, they're taking yeah. it out on us now. So let's let's ah. ruin let's ruin the adults' childhoods that they yeah. had. Let's not let let let's ruin their memories, and that's yeah. why your franchises are being attacked, folks, because they don't want you to enjoy the good times. Because look what's happened, right? Uh, for those fans of Star Wars, right, the original yeah. trilogy, right. Honestly, since since the prequel trilogy or the sequel trilogy, right? Yeah. The time did you watching the old Star Wars movies in a way? I'm not saying you wouldn't not not watch them, but has the kind of takes always in the back of your head what what happened? What happened with the sequel trilogy? See, that's what they want. They want to ruin what you enjoy. So that's why I do always yeah. say, you know, don't let them ruin it. You still have. Yeah. Your original franchise. If you think that's all the Star Wars, then that's all the Star Wars to you. Yeah. You know, I know some got gone into the EU and stuff like that, and they know a lot more. If that's your thing and that's your part, well, then you always still have that. Right, the past they can never erase the past, no matter how much they try. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and that's just why I'll always encourage, and I have been encouraging over the last few years, folks. Go well and but now, now listen. I gave up my physical copies because yeah. we were living in a digital age, and I thought, oh, it is handy, you know, like a lot of people. But I'm starting to see that this was a prelude to them to start censoring and editing our favorite yeah. films, TV shows, and all of this. So it encourages go out and buy physical copies, physical, physical, physical. Let's bring physical copies back. Sure, vinyl made a comeback. If vinyl can make a comeback, then all of this other stuff can make a comeback. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he brought them to China. <laughs> Tokyo, sorry. See, I'm glad that the vinyls have come back and the record players have come back because that was my age that, when, when no. I grew up. Vinyls are great. Listen, I'm going to say this, right? And everybody will agree with me. Yeah. Right? When they got rid of vinyl and they got rid of cassette tapes. Now, cassette tapes were a pain in the ass, right? I will admit. Yeah, I know. Right? But when they got rid of cassette tapes and they start bringing out CDs, you lost yeah. something. Music was never the same. Not the same yeah. bass. It was never right. Right? The yeah. best music, right? And even on YouTube nowadays, all the old dance music that I used to listen to growing up, right? There's a site on, on, it, uh, on YouTube that plays and you can get the vinyls of all of these because even people are starting to realize that the yeah. vinyl mm -hmm. versions of all of these songs are much better and the air is sound so much better vinyl is always being the superior sound right even over cd always yeah. being the superior sound i want a record player for for christmas but it's never gonna happen because we can't financially i can't even afford 
we won't be we won't be having a Christmas this year. We'll have yeah. our Christmas dinner, but there'll be no presents because we know money. But I, I want that was my next present that I wanted. I wanted a vinyl player so I could go out and start buying records again. Because I have a few records stored away, but I wanted to buy vinyl mm. of all my favourite artists instead of having them on CD and take the likes of yeah. Arendra, New Order, Aslan, which is an Irish band here, uh, Depeche Mode, you know, Level 42. These are all, all the music I grew up with, and they sound yeah. are on vinyl, but I do love this when Max asks him, what, what, this is brilliant. <laughs> yeah. Look at the reaction. Yeah. Their faces. I never watched E.T. until the 90s, but a friend gave me the cassette yeah look it doesn't matter when you watch dt whether you watched it the time that it was out or you watched it years later when you're grown up if that movie doesn't store him up especially the last part of that movie when he yeah. shows his finger right at Elliot, and, yeah. and he goes i'll be right here if you don't yeah. cry with the baby at that part as i said you're dead inside that yeah. part of that movie gets to me every time even though yeah. you know it's gonna come Especially when he rejects E.T. and he, and E.T. asks him to come and he yeah. goes stay and you can see E.T. is devastated and that's when yeah. he shines the light and he got oh, I'll be right here. Oh, man. Man. And that movie is a bit boring in the middle, but it's yeah. well worth it. It's well worth it. It's, it's one of Spielberg's best, to have to be honest. And the greatest thing about E.T. is they never made a sequel. No, but there were plans of a sequel, and it was going to be more adult. Um, oh. E.T. was going to be, uh, E.T. befriended the family because basically their race were going to experiment on humans yeah. and stuff. But that's what the talk mm. of it was. Um, actually, if you write in E.T. too, right? Yeah. There's actually very fascinating facts that you can find out. This movie was going to be made. Uh, yeah. I'm just glad they never, he wanted to make it more horror. Which yeah. I wouldn't agree with. It was perfect the way it is, but it doesn't need. But you know what? Actually, I would always be opposed to sequels. But when they did, you see the recent ET ad that they did with your guy that plays Elliot. They yeah. did a special one-off ad. Now, if even if the fan the menace were saying, "Holy shit!" It stored up a lot of good memories, right? Yeah. And the trailer was deadly. I would love E.T. to come back and visit Elliot as an adult and his kids, you know, the kids that Elliot yeah. had with his wife and yeah. fucking to help them out. Oh, man. But if, they, if, they make it, if they make it with no agenda pushing in it and no virtue signaling or That's anything it. like that, it would work. It would work. But it's Steven Spielberg's property, isn't it? So I, t yeah. I don't think he's one for ejecting agenda into his stuff. Is no. it really... He's more about entertaining the family. Yeah. But boys are physical copies, folks. Right? Because they even tried to, on Netflix, until they were called out for it, they even, uh, they even edited uh, 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 Back to the Future uh, 2, the scene where Marty has the ooh-la-la, -la, right? Yeah. And he actually edited that out, out of the movie, right? And then they were called out for it. And they pour it back, but boy, is our physical copies. <laughs> Too many boy, they got places like CEX and Poundland, even Poundland, yeah. right? You go in there to the DVD section, you you get Babylon Five, and you get Farscape for about two pound. Get for two pound. Wow! So go and get them. You know, you've got uh, what's that other bleeding store? That's a, a cheap store. We have one over here. Uh, it's the one with the green signs on it. They're in the UK. They were based in the UK, and then they come over here. They sell DVDs as well, right? Mm -hmm. You go to your pound shops first. You'll get a lot of good movies there, believe it or not. I love this fella. <laughs> He's just, he has a movie. It's just, on. It's just standing there. <laughs> He's done. Too many Twinkies. Definitely purchase a record player that has the means to record and transfer your vinyl recordings to either CD or memory stick. Yeah. 
Or just uh, or even if you can shove it into your computer USB. I know, but I, I'd rather look. Look, I, I, I me thinking behind it is is that if that happens to me, I can pass them on to other people that will appreciate them, sort of thing. Whereas, like I've got me me new Who collection, right up until yeah. Series Ten. I haven't bought Series Eleven or Twelve. I'm still debating whether I should or not, but I'm pretty sure I'll pay, pick it up in CEX for about a fiver. So if I get it for about a fiver, I'll buy mm-hmm. it to add to my collection because if that happens to me then, I can yeah. pass my collection on to someone that I know that appreciates Doctor Who. Yeah. You know, that's the point. You know, do you remember all of those American dads back in the late 50s and 40s yeah. and 50s that were collecting baseball cards when they were kids? Yeah. You know, and their kids ha- have them today. Like, there were thousands of some, yeah. you know? So it's it's what well, I always say. My mum and dad still have a box of record players, but our records from from the time of the blade when they first met, right back yeah. in the seventies. Like they have Diana Ross, Cliff Richard. Uh, like this is I grew up with all this music. Bee Gees, yeah, you know, uh, fucking uh, uh, what's our face, uh, Regla Franklin. Uh, 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 what's our name? Shirley Bassey. I yeah. grew up with all it is, people. Yeah. Thanks, to me, man, and dad, because of the vinyl. My dad, seriously, we'd get up in the, in the, in the mornings, right? And my dad would put the, the the record player on, and that yeah. record player stayed on until five in the evening. Then yeah. he'd knock it off then to watch the six o'clock news. He he to take it off for an hour, flick the telly, wait for the six o'clock news to come on, but. In my man does how still even to this day the radio was on all day. They don't put the TV on until six yeah. in the evening to watch the news, like, and then they'll watch a movie or something. But yeah. always in my house there was always music playing. I, I always loved the box record players, you know, the wee wooden box record yeah. players. I mean, I, I was kind of fascinated by these kind of things as a child and that, and the sound quality from them and that and everything like that. Do you remember the old, uh, the old uh, battery, and you could get plug ones with the lit up, the fake little jukeboxes that played cassette tapes, but would light up. Yeah. Yeah, I had one of them as well, man. Loved it. Listen, I went to sleep listening to music at night time. Right, yeah. I'd have my CD Walkman with the CD Walkman, but when it was a cassette tape, I'd have that at night. Have my earphones in, and I'd be listening to all my favorite music. I mean, I would uh, uh, see the 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 fairs and all that. Uh, the, the back then, they used to see if you won something, you would get a record. You get a a forty five record. Yeah. And uh, I, I didn't know what what they were, but I yeah, forty five RPMs. It was called, wasn't it? Rotation yeah. Yeah. Or something. yeah. Yeah, I used to play them and all that to my heart's content. Listen, man. Oh, well, as I said, I'm not. Kids have everything now. Yeah, you know? we didn't. We appreciated it more. These yeah. kids will never understand. They talk about poverty and all. They talk about not having money, being able to go out with their friends. Mm-hmm. Listen, not only did we not have money to go out with our friends, but our parents. The we were lucky. I'm very grateful. If we got out for our birthday, and if we if they missed the birthday, then they try. My man, I would literally save all year for Christmas, yeah. right? And that was toys. That was out without even getting the Christmas dinner in. Yeah, you know. So look, I appreciate everything, and still to this day, that's why I say to you guys as well when these are on here, I appreciate everything that I, the support that I get. Because that's the way I grew up. You appreciate the, 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 the little things, the big things in life, you know? Yeah. We made it. Yeah, it does have a warmer sound, you right? Yeah. Yeah, he struggled with homelessness. I know I was telling them the prison and addictions and his fight to turn his life around. Do you know what? It's 
when you look at how innocent he was in this movie, but could you imagine the pressures he would have been under and how much his star would have risen after yeah. this movie? Yeah. Because this was a popular movie, man. Yeah. I remember when this came out for sale on cassette uh, on 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 VHS. Yeah. And dad bought it. Like same with Independence Day, they bought that movie on VHS when that came out on VHS as well. Yeah. Like there was just certain movies that you'd watch over and over, and this is one of them. This is one yeah. of them. I'd, I'd watch this again right away. I'd go back to the start and watch this again. I mean, uh, it was like. There was there were there was something in the UK called STV. It wasn't STV. It was IT. I can't remember, but it was Channel Three. And uh, at, at, at the late late nights, they used to show all these movies. Yeah. Late at nights, and uh, well, now what you're talking about, they kind of tape them. I think we got it here in Ireland as well. Um, you could tape them, and you could watch them in during the day. You could set yeah. the video recorder to to tape them. Yeah, do you remember when you could set the video recorder? Holy yeah. Shit. And, and if you had one of the them, show. you were considered to be well off. Like, but my man, that are always waiting until those things were done cheaper. I got a second, a second hand one. Got and it was like, one. it was like, it was like they would show all the 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 seventies movies and and all those. Uh, all the all those movies of the seventies and eighties and all that and the like uh, like land at time forgot people with time forgot we we Doug McClure mm. uh, the they would show uh, films like um, big spiders and all that and taking over a, a town and all that uh, weird films uh, I remember there was a a weird film about an alien and. Um, uh, it was like it was, it was these sucker creatures things, and uh, it was like they were they were out they were out in the 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 woods. It was American an American film, and uh, I think it was called Without Warning, and uh, it was these sucker creatures. They they lashed onto someone's face or body and that, and they used they used to they used to what they did was uh, they they kind of sucked all the blood out of the person and that and killed them. Exactly, Matthew. But for me, it was uh, those handheld little computers that we had back in the day, the real crappy ones. But yeah. I'd literally be like you, under the... And then if I heard me mum and dad, I would straight under the pillow, <laughs> turn the sound up, pretend I was asleep. I never had any handheld games. Uh, uh, it, it was uh, not until the 90s I, I kind of had a handheld game, but uh, I never had Nintendo. It was just the the first computer game I was had was called Intellivision. You know these kind of consoles that you just uh, plugged into the tele back the television, and then uh, went to the uh, auxiliary in the television, and you could actually play the games. And they were they were very primitively kind of uh, pixelated and all that. And... Oh, here we go. So he's trying to get him back to his own time now. But there's a chance yeah. that his brain can be vaporized. Yeah. But David doesn't want to stay because it's yeah. not his real family, which he's yeah. right. It's not. And you would want yeah. to go back. Like, it's been all well and good being in the future, but no, thank you. Yeah. And he'll be thinking he's dream he's dreamt it all. We rented our TV. We must have paid for 50 times over. I know. Do you remember the day when you could rent a video recorder or rent yeah. a TV? I know, Matthew, man. Things have changed. Things have changed quite a lot, man. It used to be a TV repair man that would just come out and repair your television if something went wrong with it. Ah, uh, this is my favourite saying now because his little brother thinks he's in trouble. Yeah. Right, because... And the way he talks to his mum and dad... This is this is great. But see again, right? These movies, you can go through adversity, right, and all of this, and your life can be turned upside down, but the message has yeah. always been the same. Family. Family is always important. Family will get you through anything. 
And this yeah. is what I love about this. The music and all this, this movie. I wonder if, uh, what's his name, did the music for this, yeah, man, that did the music for Titanic, um, Horn, the, uh, yeah, James Horn. Yeah, I wonder if he did the music for this. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Ah, uh, there's his dog. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. You see that dog's blind? In one eye. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, and then he sees the little yahoo. <laughs> <They'd be good. laughs> uh, and the dog's face look <laughs> <laughs> oh please man see if I had a time machine right, I would go back to the 80s just to relive yeah. this all again right because it was a simpler time yes as I said Society did have its struggles. The world was in a shitty place. There was a the Cold War was it was hanging over us all, not just America. Yeah. Americans think that the Cold War is you know just America yeah. and Russia. The rest of the world were hoping that that wouldn't because we'd all get involved as well, like you know. But we had stuff like this that kept us from worrying about that stuff. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There, let's. I want to see who's done the music for this. Yeah, because it's annoying me now. <laughs> well, well, we'll find out in the end. Do, 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 do. And it's not even a long movie. You know, it's not a long movie at all. It's, it's, it's what, an hour and a half or something, which was standard for airtime. They weren't big, long, three-hour-ass movies. Well, what was interesting back in the 80s, they knew how to make films to entertain. Yeah. Well, I'm giving this a 10, right? Yeah, and I'm giving it a 10 I know shouldn't well. really get a 10 because it does yeah. have its flaws. But yeah. I want to ignore all that for the simple fact is this, this... I only watched this movie a few weeks back, but I've watched it again. I still feel the same way I watched it when I was a kid. And I was absolutely mesmerized by this movie. Yeah. So I'm giving it a 10 because it's everything that I wish movies would be today. Family fun... You know, music is great. Yeah, yeah, look, look, I mean, oh, we just had everything grown up. See that? We appreciate what we had grown up. Yeah. Because we knew when once we got to adulthood, because our parents told us out straight, yeah, enjoy our childhood. Just to let you know, the shit hits the fan when you become an adult. And they're right. Shit does yes. hit. Yes. And then you regret then the things that you didn't do when you were a kid. That's why yeah. even as a kid, I lived my life to the full. Sure, I, I used to go missing for days and everything. Family, yeah. you have to ring the police because I'd go on adventures. <laughs> Seriously, man, I was uh, I really put my man and dad through the ring. I went missing for three days one time. Yeah. Right? I wanted to go on an adventure. Right? I had about 20 pence in my pocket or something. Back then, you could get a lot for 20 pence, though. Yeah. But, like, seriously, this is 10 out of 10. Uh, Matthew gives it a 10 out of 10. And Chris a 9.9 9, 9, 9, 9 out of 10, which is, you might as well say, a 10. But what about you, Real Super Doctor? I'll give it a 10 out of 10. This is what movies are all about, man. There are additional visual effects by Fantasy 2. Yeah, so that must were, um, be the, the. You can see that the animated effects as well. It'll be a CGI. I was filmed in Florida and Miami. No, it's not James Horner. No. But it's still good, the music for this time. Do, 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 do. Ah, listen, listen, it was typical 80s, but yeah. I, but that's, look, 
again dolby stereo in selected theaters like that was only in selected theaters at the time now we get dolby surround sound and all of this yeah. you'll see kids don't realize yeah. you don't realize what you have is literally grow up with a tablet in his our hands jesus christ man you could use have access to stuff that we didn't even have access to i mean you look at you look at what it is like now you look at every town that there is. I mean, there's not even a John Menzies or Woolworths to sell this stuff. I know. Videos, DVDs, what, whatever. I mean, uh, I, st I started to notice that there was a kind of problem when all, all the technology did, uh, came out. And I mean, uh, uh, I was quite shocked by it when, you know, action figures started to disappear from... Uh, from uh, shops and that, and toys and all that, and yeah, kids were never interested in that right, anymore. I need to ask you because it's nearly ten o'clock. So, what do you want to do? Do you want to do Titanic tonight, the second part of that show tonight, or do you want to do it tomorrow? Uh, you can do it tonight if you want. Right. Well, then I'll, what I'll do is while we're just talking briefly there, I'll yeah. set up that stream now, so um, so we can get started. And what I'll do is I'll put the link. Uh, the chat when it goes up on youtube guys i will put it in this chat now i know there's only five of these but if you want to come and join us for uh, our titanic talk um and it does uh, it does seem to be uh, very popular with people because we got a bigger audience for the titanic talk see a lot of people love the titanic because it, it, it's a mystery in itself yeah Right, we're on. We did what was it? We did first class, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, first episode? class. I'll look for the the second one. Hold on, I just have to see the way I have it written on YouTube as well. And I will set up a playlist. I haven't set up a playlist for it yet, but I will set up a playlist for it so it doesn't get confusing. So you will have all the Titanic, just like you have all the sliders right now. Uh, we've done all the season one. We're going uh, to second and third one. class. Right, hold on. I just want to see how I have it written on my YouTube channel first so I can keep it the same uniform. You know, I'm a bit weird like that. Everything has to be uniformed. Right, so go into my videos. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, crack in time. Yeah, Titanic. Now, it's the ITV TV show. Um, there's only, if I'm correct in saying, there's only uh, four parts. So we're on episode two right now. So episode two. And uh, John, what did you say it was called? Uh, second and third class. Right. Is it, it second as in two ND or is it spelled second? Spelled second. Okay. Second and third class. Yeah, this episode now that's coming up is very interesting. Uh, but I have to say, this bleeding, it, it, it is sad near the end of this. Even though yeah. you know it's going to happen, it, it still doesn't make it any better when you, when you, even though you do know the history, it still doesn't make it better when you show it, when they show it on screen. It, it's, it's quite horrifying what those people went through. Um, now, do I have... Oh, I didn't have a Titanic photograph the last time, didn't I? Not that was the problem. I was actually, yeah. I'll try and can I... Hold on, though. Uh, where is that now? Oh, 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 oh. Where is it gone? No, we, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I don't really need to pull the photograph. Everybody knows... Uh, that we're watching Titanic anyway. So um, there you go. Right. I've got it set up and I'm going to set it for right, so 10 o'clock. I'll set it for 10 o'clock. That gives me and John time just to get a cup of tea or whatever. Well, I already have my coffee there, but just in case John needs to pop off yeah. and get something. Uh, but I'll put the link. Hold on. Now I want to put the link in the I think chat. I'm going to change my avatar. Um, yeah, you always do. I think you have a Titanic one already, don't you? Yeah, it's I've got another one, one there. But, but I needed to remove them because 
it was taken up by uh, it was taking up my memory so yeah um that's why i decided to take it down uh, now i will so what i'm it. gonna do is i'm gonna make another one i'm gonna make an, a new one yeah i'm gonna put this uh this one even though i probably won't have to but just for now, because we don't know if we're out of the woods yet with all these trolls, you might still get one or two thinking that they're brave enough uh, to keep doing what they're doing. Um, so for now, I'll just leave the chat on slow mode. Um, <clears throat> not that I really think I have to, but I'm going to just do it for, 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 for the end of this week, and then we'll go back to normal then, because uh, to be quite honest with you, I don't think it's been really remarkable good. for this film. We've got 14 likes and uh, only one dislike. Yeah, yeah. It, it is a good movie. I think we did it on the channel before, but before we started doing panels like this. Yeah. Um, obviously, as you know, everybody is busy, so I, I might have to change the day or something because it's not working yeah. on Wednesday nights anyway. Um, it's definitely not working on a Wednesday night. Uh, because it's midweek and either people are busy or people are working. And I know you'll always be available, or uh, like I will be, but I mean, yeah, uh, we always like having uh, the panel uh, panel on because then we can take a break talking, you know, we don't have to talk all the time. Whereas if it's just the two of us, we kind of have to, to keep people interested in the stream. Yeah. Whereas if other people bounce in with their ideas, then it kind of helps us out um so again I'll, I'll say it i say it every week man you know and 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 you know i do then get people saying to me oh well i don't get invited on well again i'll say it again on this stream if you want to be part of any of my streams you just have to let me know you have to send me a dm uh obviously uh we might get back to a place now because of this police investigation that is going to be done uh, we might be able to get back to a point now where um where I'll be able to put the link in in the chat again. But for now, you know, uh, until we definitely know that those kids are gonna f off, which I think they will now because uh, they're running, they're changing their accounts like mad. But it's funny, uh, the guy that's been sending notice uh, photographs to everybody thinks by changing his account and his name his account that he can't destroy his other accounts that are being found as well on instagram they yeah. I, I don't think they realize that we're actually serious about this and uh we're not letting go yous are bullies yous are vile and you deserve to be exposed to the bullies and the vile pieces of crap that you actually are so like you know run all you want changes your accounts it's not going to change the fact that we're going to expose you all and that's it you are done in this fandom uh to, we've suffered enough now everybody has and once you once these once these people are all uh exposed and hopefully there's a few criminal investigations done the doctor who fandom i'm not going to say it's going to go back to normal because it'll never go back to normal uh the damage done by these people has is irreversible in my opinion but we can get back to a time where at least people are pleasant with each other again in the fandom. Right? And I know yeah, I've come out over the years, and I won't deny it, I've come out over the years called Jody Whittaker fans bots. I've come out and called them planks, morons, you know, because but these were the people that were harassing me. So, you know, uh, I'm going to stop all of that now. There'll be no need for that anymore now because the fandom is going to be cleaned up. So you won't be hearing me. And this is why I'm going to say to everybody now that follows this channel, I don't want to hear any more about those people in the chat anymore unless we're actually talking about it. But when we come in here to do a movie watch along or we do Doctor Who, whether it's a new Who or whether it's classic Who, whether it's Sliders or wherever other shows that we're doing, you stick to the topic of conversation. I don't really care what's going on out there on Twitter. As I said, there's going to be an active investigation now so leave it there leave it there yeah there's no point there's no point of uh there's no point of bringing it up anymore it, it's done now um we can now move on and enjoy the things that we want to do on this channel and hopefully we can do it without being harassed now because it's all being blown wide open now 
unfortunately for those idiots, and I knew they were going to do it because even Lee was saying it, uh, they, they would do it to the wrong person. And once you do it to the wrong people, that's when something got done. So they crossed the line with people that they that they weren't going to get away with it with. And now they're facing the consequences of that. There you go. There's the link to the chat now. If you want to come out, if you want to come in and uh, join us for that Titanic watch along. Now, what we do is obviously we watch the show. But we also talk about stuff about Titanic Jordan it, that we either know through history or our stories that we've heard. And, and we also talk about the show as well. So it's a chat mainly about Titanic while we're watching Titanic in the background. And it's the ITV production. It's not uh, the James Cameron movie. Uh, we do a part each week and we're on episode two, which is second and third class. The link has gone up already so come and join us for that because uh we uh, i have to say me and john uh we have a lot of fun doing yeah. those we really do um so come and join us for that because uh it will be fun it will be fun and uh i just want to make sure now that i have everything set up properly for it. the slow mode as well listen now um i know the chat has been kind of affected because of slow mode and you haven't been able to reply to everybody as much as you would like to or in the time that you would like to do it. Um, but as I said, I reckon after this week or maybe even next week, uh, because the other side are all running and scarpering now, um, I might be able to put the chat back to normal. But at least I know now how to do slow mode if it ever happens again. But hopefully now the fandom starts to heal um, because these kids have caused an awful lot of trouble. They've damaged the fandom a lot. And let's hope now we can heal together as a fandom. And no matter what these are personal issues are with me, whether you just hate me because I didn't like Jody Whittaker or I didn't like this era of Doctor Who, that's irrelevant now. Um, they're gone now. Uh, it'll be the last season, uh, the last specials, and now we can move on. So... That's what I intend to do. But I'm not going to apologize for my actions overall, all of the, during this era, right? Because I still believe um, in what I was doing was the right thing. And also, I will never apologize for the opinions that I had because they're the opinions that I had at the time. And there's still some that I still hold still to this day. You know, in other opinions, I may have changed my opinion slightly, which does happen when you learn and you grow. You know, that's what we do as human beings. We learn and we grow. Um, but I'll never apologize for anything that I did. Uh, anything I ever did was to protect the community that, that we had built up here to protect my reputation and, and my name. You know, I've been accused of loads of things in this fandom. And, and you know what? You had people believe in that. And my reputation in this fandom has been ruined because of it. And uh, as I said, I am owed an apology, but I know I'll never get one. But uh, people should be apologizing to me, but they won't. Um, but my reputation is being ruined. And now, obviously, with all of this happening now, hopefully I can start to rebuild my reputation on this platform uh, and on Twitter, well, I know with you guys, I have no reputation to, to, to fix. But you know, on Twitter, these kids uh, literally they just wrote something up, said that I said or, or did this, and everybody took it as fact. And you know, that's not the way it should be, right? I'm going to uh, go now. I'm going to end this stream because John has popped off now to go and get his cup of tea or whatever. So I'm going to leave you. Uh, go over to their chat. It's there. I'll be over there now. Um, I'll start, I'm starting up in, in six minutes. And I'll talk to you soon. I want to thank Chris, uh, Extra Spice Mikey, and Unknown uh, for being in the chat and leaving a comment. And Matthew Pounder, Darren Bradley as well. Sorry, mate, I didn't see you. And Frack Off as well was there. I like the name. Uh, master uh master of the tds also popped in to say hello uh and as i said unknown and others there uh thanks for popping in we'll see you over in the other chat 
Have a good one, folks, and I will talk to you soon. And don't forget, hashtag Sheen for 14. I better put it up there. Sheen for 14, folks. See you soon. Bye-bye.